Hello, I'm Tom in Fear. The Space Shuttle Challenger is sitting on the launch pad less than five minutes from launch, a scheduled noontime launch. They've been in a hold for about a minute because of uh, some problems, but they seem to have them just about worked out right now. With me is Dr. Rick Chappell, a Nation, uh, miss, NASA, NASA mission scientist from the Marshall Space Center, and uh, he will help us uh, get through some of the scientific experiments that will be going on Space Lab 3. Uh, I imagine everyone held their breath when they held the countdown at four minutes. Absolutely. I think it sounds like we're getting back on the, on the road, from what I can tell. The astronauts have uh, like been the inside the uh, shuttle Challenger. The countdown, countdown is now resumed. This is the uh, Challenger on the pad right now at the Kennedy Space Center, and uh, the shot you saw just before was inside the firing room. Uh, this is an aerial view of the Kennedy Space Center. Uh, the vehicle assembly or the large building in the center of your screen is where the, uh, the shuttle is prepared, and then the uh, actual space lab is put inside before they take that slow rollout to go out to the pad. Uh, the countdown has resumed, and uh, they're up uh, checking last minute weather. Uh, any problems that could come at this point? They, they, they will, they are very right close to the end of the count now, so it'll go counting. on the terminal count with the vehicle itself. Looks fine so far. At one point, the major major event count countdown uh, goes automatic. Right. And I hand over to the shuttle. The, the computer the inside the shuttle starts to control the line. Three minutes, three minutes and counting. So if there was, if there was any problem, it, will, it could shut itself down. It can shut itself down. For example, if there's a main engine problem, it will shut down. The shuttle itself will shut down. This is the uh, 17th launch of the actual yeah, space shuttle. It's it only the second time the, uh, that Space Lab tank. has uh, been aboard. Uh, two years ago, uh, Space Lab 1 uh, went out and uh, conducted the first experiment. So we'll see a, a few more experiments this time. A total of 15, in, uh, including uh, some experiments with, with animals on this one. That's right. This is the T first time we took out a very nice facility for actually like housing animals in place for use uh, in experimentation yeah, on certain missions. This mission, and no and this mission will check out the facility itself. We can see right now in our live picture from uh, the Kennedy Space Center, they've just finished topping off the uh, tanks and the uh, solid rocket. And uh, let's listen in now to Mission Control as uh, they take the... Liquid the oxygen tank should now be approaching uh, flight pressure. Last two minutes before launch. T-minus two minutes and counting. The uni cap has been uh, removed from the external tank top and is now being cleared back on its umbilical arm. That arm will be clear in time for launch. T minus one hour, one minute, 45 seconds and counting. Liquid oxygen tank is pressurized. Liquid hydrogen tank now pressurizing. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. T minus 90 seconds, mark. Liquid hydrogen tank is pressurized and the range is ready. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. Next major milestone occurs at T minus 31 seconds with the go for auto sequence start. Mark, T minus Seven one minute. members have been inside Challenger now for almost three hours. Uh, they finished uh, loading them in and locked the doors uh, just uh, about an hour ago. Uh, no problems, all that went smoothly. Uh, there's a long time of waiting in there. Standing by now for a Yeah, there is. It's about an hour and a half, but it's full of checks, the communications, uh, the configuration of the spacecraft. Lots of things are the time goes pretty quickly once you're there. All right, we're about 30 seconds now from the second minus 30 flight of Space Lab. Space counting. Lab 3 aboard now Challenger in a record time. And it was a 17 days the for the last blast off from the Kennedy off. Space Center minus and the uh, county. Originally, it was uh, double to be able to turn it around. We're coming up on 15 seconds now until launch. Let's uh, go down 13, to Kennedy Space Center. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Go for main engine start. 6. We have main engine start. All three engines up and running. 3, 2, 1, 0. SRB ignition and Challenger in Space Lab 3 is airborne and has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling roll program initiated. Roger roll, Challenger.
Space Shuttle Challenger is orbit bound uh, with the Space Lab 3 inside uh, the cargo bay. Uh, as after you see 17 of them, I guess it still runs some goosebumps up, uh, up and down your arm as uh, it lifts off from the uh, pad. And, and, and we can see right now the uh, solid rockets are just about to separate. Right I think uh, there they go right now. You can see the uh, power Challenger off is uh, separated and now it's. Uh, totally on power of uh, the Challenger itself. We will, uh, of course, be following the mission uh, with uh, uh, Dr. Chappell. Uh, they'll be starting the experiment later this afternoon when they actually open it. Our next one will be to look at the activation of the space lab when they move in to begin the experiment. That will be very exciting in a few hours this afternoon. All right, we will, of course, uh, follow the mission of Challenger all the way through for the seven days and space lab three. We'll also have uh, more from the Fox on Bulo retrial in Providence after these messages.